Amber thinks the developing story at this hour, two threatening lists uncovered at Woodmont Middle School in Greenville County. And now a parent wants those accused punished. The school district says they found out about the list last week, but some parents say they're still uneasy about all of this. Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips joins us live in Greenville County after talking to a parent whose son was on one of those lists. Well, she says that she couldn't believe it and she's still very concerned about it. She tells us that she first heard about a hit list when she got a call. When Portia Moore's phone rang, she never expected to hear what she heard on the other line. It was heartbreaking. It was truly heartbreaking. She says the principal at Woodmont Middle School in Greenville County told her her 12 year old son's name appeared on a hit list. My heart was in my stomach and then it sank into my feet. She says her son, a fairly new student at the school, didn't know anything about it until she told him. He's thinking, why would someone want to hurt me? What have I done? Why, why doesn't, you know, this individual like me? She says she later got a robocall about the list. We have taken appropriate steps to secure our school. But she says she's still concerned because she later learned about another list. And initially, administrators questioned two students about the first one. The individuals told them that this list was a joke and that they had created this list in terms of guys that they wanted to date. One entitled students or people I wanted to kill and hit lists. There was a threat to hurt students and faculty at school and it wasn't just boys on the list, there were girls as well. Administrators with the Greenville County School District say they immediately notified law enforcement and three students are accused of authoring one or both lists. They are suspended, recommended for an expulsion hearing and are facing student threat charges. You hear about this all the time in other areas. You just never think that it would be your child who would be experiencing something like that. School district administrators say all three students who are seventh graders have been off school grounds since their Friday suspensions. Now we're also told that these students are juveniles and so their names can't be released because of student privacy laws. Cody and Victoria. Jen, thanks so much for that report.